Get this straight, you turned your computer on and a blue screen came up saying it wasn't shut down properly. Then it started scanning the disk drives. That's perfectly normal. It happens when you use the power switch to turn the computer off. The system automatically scans for errors. The best way to avoid it is always go to Start on the taskbar and shut down from the pop-up menu. Okay, pleasure. Bye. Hi there. Welcome to our series on troubleshooting computer devices and peripherals. Today, we'll troubleshoot possible hardware and system software faults. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify hardware and system software faults, like common operating system errors, problems with utility software, and problems with application software. We've had a power failure all morning. So, oh dear, my computer started up in safe mode. Now, that's a common operating system error. Safe mode is essentially a limited or minimal version of Windows that loads when your PC is having problems. See, Windows knows when there's a problem. It'll either start in safe mode automatically or give you the option to start in safe mode. The easiest way to try and solve this problem is to run ScanDisk. Click on Start. Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and Scan Disk. Check Automatically Fix Errors and click on Start. When Scan Disk finishes, reboot your computer to see if this fixed the problem. If the computer still boots in safe mode, run the disk defragmenter. Access it the same way you did scan disk. Click on Start, Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and then Disk Defragmenter. If you receive the message, you don't need to defragment this drive now. Continue with the process anyway. When Disk Defragmenter is finished, reboot your computer to see if this fixed the problem. Hey, Joe. Hey, Ali. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm what good. What do you have here? I'm good, man. School's been really tough. Um, you know what? My mother's computer has been running very, very slow. Do you have any idea what it could be? It sometimes indicates that there's not enough hard disk space. Mm -hmm. There should be at least 200 to 500 megabyte free hard drive space available. And this allows the swap file to increase in size and leaves room for temporary files. Let's hook up your hard drive to the monitor. Oh. Right. Okay. Well, turn it on. Yeah. I checked actually. There's enough disk drive space. I also ran a scan disk to make sure that there's nothing physically wrong with the computer and it's still very slow. What about malware or spyware? Spyware and other malware cause many problems, including a slow computer. If you have an antivirus program installed, run a malware scan. I checked. My computer's clean. Did you run defrag to make sure the data is arranged in the best possible order? Yes, I defragged it three times in a row until I got a, a lot of blue continuous segments. Any other symptoms? Was the computer overheating slightly? Not that I noticed. If your computer overheats, remove or disable any TSRs and startup programs that automatically start when you boot. It's also a good idea to verify the device manager has no conflicts. If you still can't find the problem, it could be your hardware. Nah, everything's brand new. You better check your utility software. Utility software helps manage your computer's hardware, operating system and application software. It includes disk defragmenters, system profilers, virus scanners, application launchers, network managers, and encryption utilities. Let's first check and repair any bad sectors. <sighs> oh, that sounds so complicated, else. Actually, your computer does everything for you. Oh. Go to My Computer, highlight the C drive, 
or any other hard drive partition you have, right click on it and select properties. From the property window, select the tool tab and click on check now. In the pop-up window, make sure you check the boxes to allow automatically fix sectors, as well as attempt recovery. You will get a message whether you would like the utility to run next time you restart. Click yes. When it's done, reboot your computer. That sounds easy enough. Well, it's also a good idea to do a disk cleanup. Well, the disk cleanup tool helps you to free up space on your hard disk. It identifies files that you can safely delete and allows you to choose whether you want to delete it or not. It can quickly delete temporary internet files associated with Internet Explorer, old downloaded program files, empty the recycle bin and delete temporary files. Newer versions also allow you to delete offline web pages, Microsoft error reporting temporary files, web client publisher temporary files, compress old files and catalog files for the content indexer. Your computer should be running faster now. Ah, thanks. Hopefully now she'll be able to install her new software. Did she get an error message while she was installing it? That's one of the many things that can go wrong with application software. Did you check the CD? Yeah, I actually brought it with me, actually. It's a freebie she got when she had some of her photos printed. It looks fine, it's clean, no visible scratches. Well, did you make sure her computer meets the requirements? Everything seemed fine. If your computer runs out of disk space during the installation, it would cause an installation error. The best option then is to try and install it in safe mode. And if it doesn't work? Well, if you're unable to install a software program, there are a few things you could check. Verify the CDs are readable by reading the files on the drive. Use Windows Explorer, for example. If the CD attempts to autoplay, right-click the drive and click Explore to browse the drive. If the CD has no errors, verify that your computer meets the minimum software requirements. If it doesn't have enough disk drive space, run Disk Cleanup and Defrag. Make sure the program is compatible with your operating system. If the CD key or serial number gives you problems, verify you have the correct number. If you lost it or it does not work, contact the program developer. I loaded a, new, uh, a brand new game on my PC, but when I tried to load it, I get an error message. I even tried to reboot my PC a few times, but still it wouldn't play. Did you check the program documentation? Yeah, you mean like the manual? Yes, and it didn't mention any errors I'm getting. Sometimes a software program requires an update before it can run on your computer. Nah, I checked. There aren't any patches or updates available from the developer. Okay, next time you run it, make sure all the other programs are closed. If the program runs then, it's possible it has issues with other programs. Also, verify your computer has the correct date. In some cases, a program may rely on the date, and if that date is incorrect, it may cause issues. Mm. Here's your task for today. Every now and then, the PC displays the following message. Insufficient available memory to meet the expected demands of an operation at this time, possibly due to virtual address space fragmentation. Please try again later. One, explain what virtual memory is and how it functions. Two, give two problems associated with virtual memory. Three, provide solutions for the two problems indicated in two. Four, also explain why each of these proposed solutions will solve the problem.